When Sean Payton and the New Orleans Saints believe strongly in a wide receiver, chances are they're pretty good. The latest receiver to get this treatment is a man named Marquez Callaway. Despite being an undrafted rookie, Callaway has wasted no time in establishing himself as a legit receiving option for one of the best teams in the NFL. So, where did he come from? What's his deal? This is the story of Marquez Callaway. Going back to his high school days, Callaway was viewed as an elite wide receiver recruit hailing from Warner Robins, Georgia. 247 Sports ranked him as a fringe top 100 prospect nationally, and Callaway received scholarship offers from most of the heavy hitters in the SEC. Ultimately, he elected to head to Rocky Top and play for the Tennessee Volunteers. And in Knoxville, Callaway had a very strong career as a three-year starter. While his total receiving numbers certainly aren't all that gaudy, he was a very consistent presence for the Vols during a period in which they needed all the help they could get. He concluded his career with 92 receptions for over 1,600 yards and 13 touchdowns, ranking 16th in UT history in receiving yardage. Further, his career 13.6 punt return average ranks 4th in school history, and his 3 punt return touchdowns are 2nd all time. While his steadiness made him a fan favorite in Knoxville, it didn't make him the most coveted draft prospect. In the end, no team took a chance on him during the 7 rounds, and he ended up having to sign with the Saints as a UDFA. The odds were stacked against him, especially when considering the unique circumstances this year that negatively affect undrafted free agents more than anybody else. Yet, still, Callaway found a way to make the most of his opportunity. He impressed tremendously in camp and made the opening team roster. He made his debut in week two and snagged his first catch in week four. Yet, in the past few weeks, Callaway has really made a name for himself, racking up 12 catches for over 120 yards in his last two contests. He even caught Drew Brees' 7,000th completion against the Carolina Panthers. But what has allowed Callaway to establish himself so quickly? Let me offer a quick scouting report. Marquez Callaway is a really interesting wide receiver. The first thing that stands out with him is his size. He comes in at a solid 6 foot 2 and 205 pounds, fitting the mold of a prototypical physical NFL wideout, and he uses that size well. All throughout college, Callaway made a habit of falling in jump balls and using his size to make difficult contested catches downfield. But Callaway also has more to his game than just boxing out and using his physicality. As mentioned earlier, Marquez was a fantastic kick and punt returner during his time with the Vols. He's honestly surprisingly fast and can make some plays with the ball in his hands. He's not the quickest side to side, but his 4-5-5 straight line speed is a legitimate asset. The knock on him coming out was that he wasn't super consistent game to game and severely lacked in the route running department. However, if you've watched him with the Saints so far, you would actually have confidence in his route running. Truthfully, against Carolina, Callaway kind of sort of looked like Michael Thomas out there. He ran the same type of routes, put himself in similar types of positions, and most importantly, was targeted a lot by Drew Brees, just like Mr. Thomas. Now, certainly I'm not saying that Marquez Callaway is actually Michael Thomas. In reality, he's not even close. However, what he is, is somebody pretty good. Callaway looks the part right now as a legit wideout, and that is super notable. Even with a slightly limited Drew Brees, the Saints' pass offense is very productive and friendly towards wide receivers. Brees and Peyton band together to support a young wideout, that's a good sign. But especially when recognizing the amount of challenges a 2020 UDFA has had to overcome to reach this point. Keep an eye out on Marquez Callaway, because he may just turn into a star. And that'll do it for this one. Share the video with your friends and feel free to subscribe to the channel. Comment, who is your favorite wide receiver in the NFL? Who's the best rookie in the NFL right now? Finally, be sure to like the video if you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.